Hey guys, my name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. I do apologise if I'm breathing through my mouth too much. Um, that's what happens when you have to talk a lot. Right, so today I got an email from Warlord Games. Warlord Games is having their big summer sale. Now, this isn't doesn't always mean you're going to get some fantastic bargains, but you can get some fantastic bargains. For example, you can get like nine quid off of a Centurion Mark III tank. Um, the bundle of three plastic Panzer IVs is down from £62 to £48.50. So, if you are a person who likes to play non-Games Workshop games, maybe historical war games, medieval games... Uh, English Civil War, Second World War, all those sorts of things. Or maybe you like really small scale games as well, like six mil games. Maybe you've got something for Mesoamerican mythology. Warlord Games has a little bit of everything for everyone. Um, me, I'm a big bolt action fan. I love my bolt action. And this sale is always a really good one because not only are a lot of the models knock down in price they also like to do uh, some other sales now we are getting close to getting third edition for bolt action which i'm really looking forward to and i'll definitely jump back in but if you're one of those people that likes to play older games maybe you'd like second edition bolt action you got your last chance to buy the army books pardon me for a lot of the factions down to a fiver not bad at all. Now, they also do a lot of games like Judge Dredd, uh, Doctor Who. They've got some zombie games in there. They have American Civil War. They have American Revolutionary War. They have uh, English Civil War games. So lots of bits here for quite a lot of money off. You know, if you're a D&D &D player, a lot of the Mythic America stuff might be really useful to you. Um, a lot of their models are, they do models in metal, plastic, and um, what's called Warlord Resin, uh, which is um, a slightly flexible resin. It's not quite like Forge World Resin. But, like, look at these, the Talakoan and Bound Marauders. They'd be great for, like, a D&D &D campaign set in the jungle. Uh, you got Victory at Sea, a... Uh, a naval combat game which is pretty cool ABC Warriors another 2000 AD comic property about giant robots um, it, on, a, on a tangent if you've never read any of the 2000 AD uh, comics like Judge Dredd I can strongly recommend so many of them they are peak 1980s punk culture Pop culture, sci-fi, just I I I could start a whole channel on like just Judge Judge Dredd alone. Like when I was at university, I had so many of those comics. So yeah, you've got uh, the Korean War as well, which is another uh, bolt action expansion pack. Not a lot of war gaming that happens in the Korean War. Um, so it's definitely an interesting one. They now have Pike and Shot. Uh, epic battles which is kind of any sort of black powder era uh, kind of fighting 100 years, not 100 years war not really um, kind of sort of 1600s onwards ish really everything kind of up to the Napoleonic Wars American Civil War and these are all smaller scale as well so if you like things like Legion Imperialis that's the sort of scale for you and these are half price you know Here's some cavalry and some cannons for a fiver. They also do a lot of their bolt action and full scale 28mm sprues at half price. So if you are looking at doing something like, say, Trench Crusade or uh, Turnip 28, Prussian Landwehr, you get six of them. Buy that. Buy a couple of those, and buy some, uh, some like knight heads from somewhere else. You know, or if they've got one here, you know, some sort of medieval set, 
because uh, I'm sure they do, and you mix those together, add some random gumph into it, and you could do some really interesting stuff for uh, Turnip28. I've covered Turnip28 before on the channel. If you like weird and wonderful, if you like, like Terry Gilliam movies, things like... Um, I'm gonna not gonna be able to think of a single Terry Gilliam film now. Like, Never Ending Story, or things like Willow, or The Dark Crystal, or things like Time Bandits. That's the one I couldn't think of. Um, anything that's got like weird 1980s puppets, that kind of 1980s dark fantasy vibe. Turnip Twenty Eight is a hundred percent for you. It's like Napoleonic War with mushrooms and snails. Ancient battles, if you like the Roman, you know, the Roman Empire, and let's face it, guys, most of us like the Roman Empire. Um, you have that half price sprues there as well. Uh, the last chance to buy all their zombie stuff. I'll be honest, they've been trying to offload this zombie stuff for quite some time. <laughs> uh, this is this is one of the problems with Warlord Games a couple of years back. They got very successful off the back of like Bolt Action 1.0, and they started buying up properties. But hey, if you like modern games and you're looking for some extras here, look at all the bits. You think you're going to find plastic L85s anywhere else? You know, plastic... Uh, I'm going to say it's an AEK9971 maybe? Some sort of Kalashnikov maybe? Um, Chinese rifles, QBZs, um, M4s. That looks like an MP5 with a grenade launcher. <laughs> but yeah, if you're after modern stuff, it's in there. They've got like the zombies. Again, if you are a war gamer or a tabletop role player, three pound fifty for those sprues. Plus they have motorcycles, you know, which is pretty cool. So guys, if you are interested in any sort of historical stuff. Any sort of um, non-GW games, these guys are brilliant to shop through, and this is a perfect time just to pick some stuff up that maybe you know, maybe you want to paint something different, maybe you want to try something out, maybe you wanted to go, hey, I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of painting my, uh, you know, my Space Marines. I'm going to buy some Legionnaires, some Roman Legionnaires, Vallejo's Liquid Golds. Um, the the liquid metallic paints are actually really really good. Um, at one pound fifty, these are a steal. I'm I'm sorely tempted to pick up Vallejo paints the Panzer Ace range, which is a lot of their more kind of uh, muted and realistic colours at a pound fifty. One pound fifty for Vallejo paints when they're normally two pound ninety. I mean, come on, guys. I think I think I might be picking up some paints. I, I, I hadn't really thought about doing this, but I'm gonna probably pick up some paints. I wish that colour was more like that actually is, but it's not because that's almost exactly what I needed for the Alpha Legion I wanted to do. And it's not happening anymore. <laughs> so guys, come check out Warlord Games. It's just warlordgames.com. Um, I might eventually even get around to building my one of these. Um, the Bronkator Armoured Patrol Boat. Uh, it is as long as my forearm. It's huge. Uh, giggity. Um, so yeah, like 360 different items on their sale at the moment. Of course, a lot of it's going to be sitting individual paints. Um, if you're a militia player and you are looking at you know making some sort of cheap militia force for the heresy and i know you know the, these forces require an obscene amount of infantry this may be the time to move um because you can get some really interesting sort of historical style models that would be very easy to convert to 40k and 30k You know, the plastics, if you are worried about the quality of the plastics, um, don't be. 
Warlord plastics have always been... They are good. They are really good. These guys are based in Nottingham. They get a lot of cross-pollination with guys leaving GW. They have the skills. They are basically GW, but a couple of years ago. They're always just a little bit behind because they're, they're new. They're, you know, compared to GW, they're a newer company. Um, a lot of the guys who work there used to work at GW. Um, a lot of the rules writers used to work there. You know, here's another one. If you want cavalry for your militia or your solar auxilia force or anything like that, 28 mil horses. Even if you buy these sprues for just the horses, um, you know, chop the legs off and then stick something like a solar auxiliary or a Cadian body on there. And get yourself some actual scaled rough riders that aren't riding horses that are like 26 hands tall. Seriously, pick these guys up, throw the like armoured helmet from the um, Mechanicum... Uh, blah, 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 why can't I think of the name of them? <sighs> Kids, don't get old. Like, your brain starts to go, you forget things, and it really starts to suck, because you're like, I know the word I'm looking for, it's on the tip of my tongue. And you just can't quite connect to it. But the Mechanicum Infantry, the Tech Guard, um, they have that, like, armoured helmet, or the hood. Stick that on there. There you go. You know, brilliant thing for a militia army. You're going to buy six models for £4.75 from Games Workshop? I don't think so. So yeah, uh, go check out Warlord Games. Lots of stuff coming out there for the sale. Uh, lots of historical stuff. Historicals are growing in... in, in definitely growing in popularity. Um, there's a reason for it. You know, A lot of people are interested in history. And lastly, if you're a bolt action player, you can now pick up the... Um, uh, Dick Winter's model, which was a limited edition model. It may still be limited edition, so pick it up as you know when you want. Uh, I've got two of these in metal still somewhere. Um, for those of you who don't know, Dick Winter's was a lieutenant in the 101st Airborne during uh, D Day and all of the Second World War in Easy Company, um, which was made famous by the book and TV series Band of Brothers. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to talk about, you know, in case, you know, a lot of you guys don't subscribe to the Warlord um, newsletter. Go check it out. You know, Bolt Action's great. I love Bolt Action. If you like 3rd edition 40k, you're going to love Bolt Action. Um, all right, before Midwinter Mini starts crying. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Bando. This is Bricks of Bando. If you want to support the channel, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're shopping at Element Games, use code JAM737 to double your reward points. And um, enjoy your weekend. All right, guys. Bye-bye.